and welcome to my channel EVS Edu. Today I am going to deliver on India as a mega biodiversity nation. Let us begin with the term mega diversity. Mega diversity is a term used by international organization. The concept of mega biodiversity was first proposed in a paper at the Simth Smithsonian's 1988 Biodiversity Conference. As far as Indian location of the India is concerned, India is located in the South Asia between the latitudes of 60 and 380 degree north and longitude 698 and 970 degree east, as depicted in this picture. Biogeographically, India is situated at the tri-junction of three realms, that is Afrotropical, Indo-Malayalam, and Paleo-Arctic, and therefore has characteristic elements from each of them, that is Afrotropical, Indo-Malayalam, and Paleo-Arctic. This assemblage of the three distinct realms make the country rich and unique in bio bi biological diversity. As a biodiversity nation, India has a geological evidences, which is responsible for the mega biodiversity nation of this India. Geological events in the landmass of India have provided conditions for high level of biodiversity. As split in the single giant continent, around 70 million years ago led the formation of northern and southern continents. With this split, India is a part of Gondwana land, the southern landmass together with Africa, Australia, and Antarctic. Later, the tectonic movements come and shifted India towards northward across the equator to join the Eurasian continent. As the intervening shallow tested sea closed down, plants and animals that had evolved both in Europe and in the Far East migrated into India before Himalayas had formed. A final flux come from Africa and Ethiopia species, which were adopted to the savannas and semi-arid regions. Thus, India's special geographical position between three distinct centers of biological evolution and radiation of species is responsible for our rich and varied biodiversity. Let's proceed ahead with what silent futures of India as a megabiodiversity nation. India as a megabiodiversity nation has various silent features which are responsible for making the India as a good diversity nation. First of all, discuss about the realms and biomes of India. India has two major realms called the Paleoarctic and Indo-Malayalam Indo realm and it has three major biomes, the tropical humid forest, the tropical dry deciduous forests, the warm forests. Here are the pictures of these three biomes. The second major feature of the India as a megabiodiversity nation is it is 10 biogeographical, biogeographic regions like 
the Trans Himalayas, the Himalayas, Indian Desert, Semi arid Zone, Western Ghats, Deccan Peninsula, Gensetic Plains, Coasts, Northeast India, and Islands. The silent features of India as mega biodiversity nations are there are two hotspots that extended into India. Further, these hotspots are included amongst the top eight most important hotspots of world. India is one of the 12th center of origin of cultivated crops. India has 26 recognized endemic centers that are home to nearly one third of all the flowering plants and jospermas identified and described to date. Amongst the protected areas, India has 88 national parks and 490 centuries covering an area of about 1.53 lakh square kilometers. In addition to the already mentioned the silent features, India consists of six Ramsar wetlands. Here are these six Ramsar wetlands and five world heritage sites. These are the five world heritage sites and among them the Kaziranga National Park is first Indian National Park. Based on the survey report uh, of Ministry and Ministry of Forests and Environment (MOEF) now it is Ministry of Forests and Environment and Climate Change, they reported that India has at present 89,317 species of fauna and 45,364 species of flora. And these contribute about 77 in this fauna and that is animals. It's presenting about 7.31% of the world's land, and in case of the plants, these represent 10.88% of the world's flora. In plants, the species richness is high in angiosperms, as already discussed, bryophyta and pteridophyta and in the families of Orchidaceae. In addition to this, in animals, Arthropoda insects are predominant. India is also rich in agrobiodiversity. There are 167 crop species and wild relatives. Further, India is considered to be the center of origin of 30,000 to 50,000 crop varieties such as rice, pigeon, pea, mango, turmeric, ginger, sugarcane, etc. And this has ranked the India as a seventh contribution to the world agriculture. This is the comparison between the number of species of India and the world. Here are the various groups like mammals, birds, reptiles, amphibians, fishes, flowering plants, and these are the species of respective groups present in the India. And this is the world. This is India species of India versus world percentage.
let's conclude with bird's eye view up to this topic. In my opinion, the biodiversity is not only genus, species, populations, community and ecosystem only, but it refers to productivity, national status, biocontrol, biofertilizers, bioenergy, breeding strategies, etc. It has also included endogenous knowledge with ex situ and in situ conservations. We have a lot of endogenous species of flora and fauna in all ecosystems such as aquatic, terrestrial and deserts, which are important for developing countries, particularly India, where economic conditions wholly and solely depend heavily on these resources. India's mega diversity is well placed cultural diversity, different religions, languages, traditions, and festivals. Ayurveda, Yunani, Hemopathus, and herbal preparations are also comes from the biodiversity resources. They are part of traditional biodiversity. Many crops like wheat, maize, rice, jute, jawar, mango, etc. arose in India and spread throughout the world and in large proportions of the Indian biodiversity is still unexplored. Dear friends, lastly, the Indian biodiversity has a lot of optional values. In addition to those values which we discuss in our daily lives. For more such kind of lectures, please subscribe our channel EVS EDU, like it and press the bell icon for the updates. Thank you very much.